up to the artist Begin totally abstract and okay. so I'm just putting down colors and shapes and then I look at it kind of like you would look at clouds um, and then it just kind of comes to me spontaneously and whatever I see in the artwork or in the, the abstraction I just keep <laughs> nudging it in that direction until it feels finished that's so cool that is so cool do you have a favorite of like um, that you have on display here of like right now, it just felt like it came together um, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, um, I really I like, the light really on like one. this one a lot. This one is called We Are Unity. And um, so later I'll be launching an interactive website uh -huh. uh, with this image where, so within this image, there are over a hundred uh, little events within it and they all have their own poem. Oh. So the website is going to allow you to kind of pan and explore through the image. And then the poems will kind of pop up as you discover the different events. Um, and then there'll be like little secrets in there that you can discover too. So I, I thought that would be like a fun way to kind of extend artwork into something a little bit more than a 2D image. Yeah, yeah, that is really, that's, a, that's so creative. That's such a, that's such a good way to like keep your artwork alive too. Yeah, I, I, I want my work to be engaging um, and I think like um, I, I started in concept art and now I do like illustration and I sell my artwork. Okay. But I, eventually I would like to move into making interactive experiences. Okay. Um, and so art for me feels like um, one of the things I like making, but it's not, you know, the, the one and only sort of medium that I want to work in. Same. I, I can, I can, um, I can definitely relate to that. I don't see your name on here. What was um, your name? <laughs> my name is Key. Uh, my website is uh, keytranart.com. That's K-Y-T-R-A-N-A-R-T.com. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And I think I made a decision. I think I, I think I want this one. Okay. and I try to put joy and happiness back in the world. process but everyone has just been so just great as far as working with um, this is my first little series. 
Yeah, you know how much it goes into this. Yeah, it's so, it's so much is that you have a letterer, you have an artist who does the pencils. It may not do the ink, so we have an inker, we have a colorist. It's a, a whole thing. Um, actually, Fenty Beauty has reached out to us. Uh, they retweeted a uh, tweet from uh, one of the colorists saying that he just thought that it was genius that we used the Fenty Beauty brand uh, foundation chart to denote the skin tones. Because for like the longest in comics, whatever reason, when it comes to characters of color, especially black characters, the skin tone varies. So you have Storm looking as though uh, she's somebody's light skin auntie to uh, the darker uh, versions of Storms that we're more used to. So trying to get better about communicating with artists and saying like, hey, here's something that you can refer to for this color skin tone. Because if they can paint, if the sea can be the same shade of blue for decades, then there's no reason why storm skin tone varies from, you know, all over. Um, I don't know, just continue to push comics forward uh, in the direction that it needs to go. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming by. So let me let me just clarify. The use of Fenty. Yeah. So um, what I do is um, whenever I write my scripts, I've been doing this for a while. I'll use the Fenty foundation chart, okay. um, and they have the uh, foundation like the the foundation matches there. So okay. for Nubia, for instance, I wrote like she's a Fenty beauty um, like 480. So it has either if it's a warm, uh, warm color, cool that helps with lighting and all of that. So Fenty retweeted that and was really interested in that we did that. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully, maybe something to come out of that. I'm not sure. But, I love that. Yeah. I love that you do that. So I'm an artist. A lot of I taught myself to paint yeah. through YouTube and experimentation. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like a step by step how to paint dark skin. Yeah, yeah same thing for lighting. Color. Yes, yes. Where you're doing it in layers. Yes. And so I've had to figure it out on my own. I'm sure it's out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not been accessible to me. So yeah. so that was my whole thing with um, thinking of the color of, of the foundation chart because one, I'm like that's something that's accessible to anyone. One. If yeah. I hyperlink that, it'll take the artist directly to that page. They'll see it. Um, they have the breakdowns. Uh, Cause you know, like makeup, that's also art, right? Yeah. So that's the way that I'm thinking of it. And I'm thinking if you are trying to figure out what what makeup Storm would use, you would use that chart. So that would be something similar to I would think to as as helpful for to an artist as a guide to hey, somewhere around the skin tone. Cause we gotta yeah. think about lighting and all that has to come into mm -hmm, play. Mm -hmm. Something that if a makeup artist is putting makeup on your face, they're taking into consideration too. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's super brilliant. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Thank and, you. Cause I didn't know it existed. Yeah, no, I mean, again. <laughs> I don't wear don't a lot know. of makeup, so like I, I wouldn't have known. Same. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I thought I was just doing something that was just natural and come to find yeah. out that uh, yeah. it was very helpful, so. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, no, of course. Wanda, vision and 